Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Salvatore here, and I hope that you had a fun snow day. I hope that you were able to do something in the snow. Did you go out and play? Did you go out and make a snowman? These are some things that we can do on a snow day. And we certainly had enough of it. Let me just show you my window. It is Tuesday morning and it is still snowing out. Can you believe this? Let's take a look, look outside my window. Oh my goodness, it is still snowing, still snowing. So I hope that you did some fun things yesterday on your snow day and maybe you'll do some things today. We are going to read a story that has snow in it. And of course, we are going to be able to name the characters, the setting, the problem, and the solution. So let me share my screen and show you what our objective is today. Today, we will read the mitten and we will be able to summarize the story, go over the characters, setting, and the problem and solution. We need all of these things or story elements to be able to summarize a story. Then we are going to brainstorm things we can do in the snow or things we can or did on our snow day. And then the last thing is going to take us some time and some lessons is all of you are going to have a chance to make a video about what you did or can do in the snow. So make sure your iPads are charged. Make sure that you're thinking and we're going to use some of these things that we brainstorm together what you can do in the snow. Okay, so we have a couple classes this week. Today we are going to read the mitten. We're going to summarize the story. Then we're going to think together in our brains what we can do on a snow day. And then by Friday, all of you are going to make a video and submit it to me, to my email, or on your Google Classroom about things you did or can do in the snow. All right, so let me pull up. Your story of the day today is the mitten. You're gonna see a lot of snow. It might look like where you are now. And I will just let you know that a boy was wearing a mitten, which is like a glove. And out in nature, different animals find the mitten and they make it their new home. So I really want you to make sure you pay attention, look and listen to the different things and different ways they use the mitten for their home. All right, boys and girls, let's get started with our story today, the mitten. Here we go. The mitten. It was a cold and windy winter morning. The little boy hustled up the path, dragging his sled behind him. He was dressed for snowy adventures. From his knit cap, to his warm boots, to his two soft mittens, which hung from his sleeves on a piece of string so he wouldn't lose them. headed to his favorite spot, a stupendous hill perfect for sledding. He dashed through the trees, eager for his first long slide across the snow. But 
as he jumped over the stone wall at the top of the hill, one of his mittens caught on a low branch. The boy was going so fast, he barely felt the small tug of the mitten before the string gave way. He was out of sight and down the hill before his mitten even hit the snow. All was quiet. Then, tiny, shivering mouse darted out from the stone wall, saw the cozy mitten, and crept right in. Soon, Bunny hopped along. The mitten caught his eye, and being a curious fellow, he jumped in right next to Mouse. Next, Fox wandered by. What a snug place this is, she thought when she discovered the mitten and crawled inside. Mouse and Bunny moved over to make room. The wind blew through the treetops and swirled down the lane. Lynx padded out of the forest and saw the mitten. What's this? She thought. How charming. And she nuzzled the mitten open and squeezed herself in. All the animals cuddled together in a warm ball of fur. The wind was still for a moment. Then Wolf came loping up the hill. Up the other side trudged Bear. You first, said Bear. No, you, said Wolf. And they ended up jostling and cramming their way into the mitten together. Now, the mitten's knitting was strong and true, but even so, it was stretched to its limit. Poor Mouse was at the bottom of the pile. I need more room, he thought, and found a nice soft spot right on Bunny's belly. He wiggled his whiskers happily, which tickled Bunny's tummy. Bunny started to giggle and twitch, and his ears tickled Fox's chin. Fox snickered and shifted her tail, which brushed against Lynx's paws. <laughs> Lynx chuckled and rolled onto her back, her fluffy tufted ears making Wolf's muzzle twitch. Wolf howled with laughter. And all that wiggling and shifting and giggling made Bear laugh too. Well, it was too much for the mitten to take. With a giant pop, out tumbled Bear, and Wolf, and Lynx, and Fox, and Bunny. And off they ran back to their homes, laughing themselves silly the whole way. It was the time of year when the sun set early, so it wasn't long before the boy made his way back up the hill. He was just about to step over the stone wall when a flash of red in the snow caught his eye. My mitten, he said, and picked it up. It was bigger than he remembered. Puzzled, he turned it over in his hands. Deep inside the mitten, something was moving. Suddenly, a wee head with velvety ears and quivering whiskers peeked out over the cuff. It was Mouse. Oh, cried the boy. Hello, little fellow. Have you found yourself a new home in my mitten? Mouse groomed his whiskers contentedly and crawled back down into his cozy new nest. I will take you home then, the boy said, and you may live in my mitten as long as you'd like and be my friend. The boy put on his mitten, cupped his hand gently around Mouse, and dragging his sled behind him, headed to his own warm home across the snow. Hmm. 
All right, boys and girls, that was the mitten. And there were a lot of characters in that story. In the next video that I'm going, the video that I will post after this, we are going to go through sequence. We are gonna go through the characters and then we're gonna put them together in order so that you know what animals hopped in the mitten, okay? And I will also post something if you wanna draw it just to show that you remember what animals, such as the lynx, the fox, okay? All of those animals. Now I wanna switch a little bit, thinking about the snow outside, it's snowing. <laughs> What are some things that you can do in the snow or on a snow day? So we are going to create a graphic organizer together. If you want to grab a piece of paper and in the middle, I want you to write things I can do on a snow day or things I can do in the snow, okay? And I want you to think about it. And when you are ready, I'm ready to hear all of those things that you can do in the snow. All right, so let's take a look at our list. Things that I have heard all of you tell me I wrote on our graphic organizer. Things that you can do in the snow on a snow day. Maybe some of you did this yesterday. Maybe some of you will do this today since it is still snowing. So I heard sledding. I heard have a snowball fight. Make snow angels. Make a snowman. And roll in it or make a fort or an igloo. Okay, these are all different things. I'm going to take a picture of this graphic organizer, put it below. All of you should be planning your writing and planning anything that you want to say using this graphic organizer. So a complete sentence. If your teacher asks you, what did you do in the snow? I went sledding in the snow. I had a snowball fight in the snow. I made a snowman. I made snow angels. I made a fort. Okay, so these are all things that we did. If you are going to do them today, then we just have to change the verb tense, right? Um, I will go sledding. I will have a snowball fight. All of these things. So Please make sure all of you copy this graphic organizer. You are going to need it for your video. Your video will have you in it and you are going to tell me things that you did in the snow. I wanna show you an example of a student's video of how they made the video and what it looks like so that you have something to compare your video to what it should look like. Let's share my screen of an example of what you can do when you make your video. Here we go. Hi guys, welcome to Studio B and today we are going to be doing a review on five of the best things to do in the snow. I am visiting in Utah again, but the thing is I never really get to spend that much time in the snow. So we made up a bunch of really fun things to do. So here's my top five. Number five, build a snowman. Building a snowman is so fun. You can do it in tons of different ways and it's much more fun to do with your friends. So you can tell me what you like doing in the snow and then I would like you to show me since you are making a video. Let's look to their number two thing that they like to do. Number four, make snow angels. Making snow angels is really fun because it's really easy and it makes a pretty angel after you're done with it. But here's a warning. It's very cold if you don't have the proper snow gear on.
So you can make a snow angel. Very important. Make sure that you're not wearing um, like a t-shirt and just one pair of pants because then you are going to be freezing cold. All right, let's look. Ooh, this looks fun. What's number three? I like tubing better because it's a little bit softer and easier, but I also like snow. It's very fun. So tubing and sledding. Having a snowball fight. <laughs> Just make sure you don't throw it at anyone's face. <laughs> well, let's see what their fifth one is. Number two. Oh, cones. Make snow cones. If fresh fallen snow, make sure to make a snow cone out of the snow. And make sure to use your favorite flavors. I really like blood orange. It was yummy. Now, if the snow is yellow, stay away. Yellow. <laughs> all right. So you can make a snow cone. <laughs> all right. You don't have to go buy it. You can make your own snow cone. You can so use what are and put snow and put coat. So what are some things that you like to do in the snow? We started a list. You. you saw a video. Now it's yeah. your turn to make your video. All right. I will yeah. see you in class. I will tell yeah. you more about your video. And I can't wait to see a compilation that means all of our videos together of what we like to do in the snow. All right, friends, I will see you later in class. Have a great day. Be safe. Make sure you wear lots of layers if you do go out in the snow again today. Bye.